future will be allowed one twenty words every day to say and need to get through all our routine exchange with an eye on work count. Hey guys, welcome to the Woolen Homestead. This is a video podcast about knitting, spinning, and hand dyeing yarn. My name is Tiffany and I'm coming to you from Midland, Michigan. You can find me as The Woolen Homestead on various social media, as well as the yarn that my husband and I dye at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com. You'll also find links below in the description box to all the places you can find us. Hello everybody, welcome back, and hello if you're a new viewer. Today is Monday, uh, May 14th, 2018, and this is episode 59. So I hope you guys had a wonderful two weeks. Um, I did not podcast last week because I was getting my crown done. So I'm happy to have that done and glad to be back um, talking to you guys. So I figure I'll start off with what I'm wearing this week. This is my Lucinda sweater by Carrie Bostic Hogue. And it is a um, reverse stockinette sweater, which is really, really easy because you just flip it inside out as you're making it. And she tells you all how to do that properly and make it look nice. Um, so it was super easy to knit, and it's nicely oversized. Um, I did kind of like a three-quarter sleeve on it, um, and I believe there was two options for that. I think they had a long sleeve version. But I just wanted this three-quarter one. And yeah, I really, really love wearing this. It's super easy just to put on, and it's super comfortable. I love it. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing this week. So yeah, let's see. Um... And I just want to apologize, guys. I am, I'm not feeling 100% today, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but I am just, I'm not, like, sick or anything, but I just have, like, zero energy today. So I want to apologize ahead of time for that. <laughs> but I really, really wanted to podcast today, and I had everything set up, and I was just, like, getting ready to go, and I'm just, like, oh. <laughs> so, sorry in advance if I'm not as, um excited and, and peppy as usual so um but yeah let's go into group news um the woolen homestead has a ravelry group called the woolen homestead on ravelry and there you can participate in knit alongs um sometimes we have giveaways on there there's an introduction thread um there is a show your woolen homestead pride thread we can show projects or stash enhancement that you have for, um, of our yarn and currently we've got two knit alongs going on We've got the um, Basket of Mittens Cal, which is co-hosted by my friend Carrie, who is my wool mitten on Instagram and Ravelry. And um, she has the blog um, serenityfarms.blogspot.com, which I have a link below in the description box. And yeah, so we are just hosting a cal that is year long for knitting mittens. You can also crochet mittens if you would like as well. You can do fingerless mitts, um, convertible mittens, whatever you want to do. Um, that would totally be allowed and works in progress are also allowed so we want as many people to join in as possible and it's just a super laid-back sort of knit along so um, yeah like I said that's going on until the end of the year and we would love it if you guys would join in and uh, we also have um, the summer socktacular cal going on and I finally picked an ending date for that so that'll be running until um, August 31st so I always view September 1st as like the beginning of fall. <laughs> so yeah, that's just like my my personal fall it's when it starts for me. So I thought August 31st would be a good day to end the summer Socktacular Cal. And same sort of thing, we are just knitting socks and um, works in progress are also allowed for that. So if you have socks that you started on before the knit along started, feel free to enter them. And um, if you knit with the Woolen Homestead yarn, you are eligible to enter twice. And so how you would do that is you would post the picture in the finished objects thread of your finished product. Um, you would just post it twice in two separate comments. So that's how you do that. And that's also um, qualifies for the basket of mittens. Not along if you knit it, if you knit mittens using our yarn, you can do that as well. So yeah that is it for our knit alongs oh we do have a hashtag for the socktacular cal it is twh summer socktacular 2018 so if you are on instagram and want to um join in on um posting there you can use that hashtag and let's see next i'm going to get into works in progress so first up this week living in my 
fringe supply company field bag um, this is my first one that I got in my more worn in one I've got my speckle and pop shawl by Stephen West and guys I am so close to being done with this I'm so excited so I will show you guys the yarn that I've got left because this is it I've got this little bit of the purple which this is um, this is all the woolen homestead yarn this this whole shawl this is nebula which I do want to bring this back into the shop I think I really like that color. I think it's a fun summer color. This is Happy Little Narwhal, and we do currently have this in the shop on DK and Sturdy Sock. And then there's um, Back to the Fuchsia, which is not currently being used in the, um, the shawl at this point. So this is where I'm at in my stitch marker that I had broke. So I need to fix it still. But I still got the, or the Progress Keeper. The Progress Keeper lobster clasp is still on there <laughs> so I can show you guys where I was at but I know that I was um and I am not at the end of a row so this actually might be a little bit difficult to show but I basically had just started um down here just past that yellow bit is where I was at so with the last two weeks um I knit you know up to here so and this thing is 822 stitches across it is a labor of love at this point. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gunning for the, uh, the finished object at this point. I am really, really excited um, to have this on my needles because <laughs> I did it. Um, I started it in October or September, whatever the knit along was, the mystery knit along for this. And, um, I put it in hibernation for a good, probably five or six months. And then maybe not even that long. Um, but I didn't work on it for a good while and I almost thought about ripping it out and then I decided to keep going with it. And, um, yes, I'm really, really looking forward to, to having it done. And I think I'm actually going to, um, like cut this last bit a little bit short as far as the length of this, cause A, I'm running out of the purple yarn, the nebula colorway, um, and B, I'm, I'm just ready to have it done. So, and I think, I think it's long enough personally. So I'm doing, I think there's two more rows. I'm going to finish the full repeat. So, and I think I've got two more rows of the repeat left. So yeah, like I said, this is really hard to show, um, cause I'm working on it in the middle of a row, but these are all the colors. They totally remind me of nineties colors because I feel like all of my toys were this color in the nineties. I had my Polly Pockets, my Barbies, I was born in 89 so basically my whole childhood was in the 90s and um yeah everything was this color my clothes were this color <laughs> so yeah that's i've named it my my 90s speckle and pop <laughs> so yeah and i'm knitting those on um high high sharps size us4 and um yeah really really enjoying it just like i said i'm i'm ready to be done with it <laughs> ready to have that that big guy off the off the needles. The next project is my hand spun socks. Living in my little bobbin sock project bag. And these guys have gotten some love. So these are the two yarns. And this was from a fiber braid from Fox and Flower that I spun. I do have some videos on this channel if you want to see the process of how I spun them. Um, I did a chain ply. Um, and this is out of 100% merino and yeah I'm knitting socks with it so it's been really really enjoyable to work with because it's a three ply it's it's a little bit thicker and so it's made it a really sturdy fabric which I'm really happy about really dense fabric so this is where I was at last time and now I've gone all the way up here I turned the heel and I'm just just like one row past the heel so back to the pink and purple and yeah I'm gonna knit um, I'm probably not gonna make these a super long leg on them I'm gonna just kind of have them be little little shorties so I think that'll be good and then this is the other sock because they are a mismatched matching set <laughs> so this is where I was at last time once again turned the heel and I'm just past that as well so they're about the same place and yeah I'm really 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 loving them I'm really excited to see how they wear and yeah I can't
can't wait to let you guys know about it. Um, I'm getting these on size US1 high high sharps for this one and then the other one is the um, DPNs from Susan Bates that I got at Joann's. And I really like them. I'm not going to lie. I really, really enjoy knitting with them. They're super cheap, so you can't beat it. If you like metal needles, I, I think they're great for that. So now on to mail and acquisitions. So, let's see, last week I received a Knit Picks box in the mail because I made a little bit of an order. Because it is May, and May is my birthday month. My birthday is um, May 29th, it's at the end of the month. And so, I felt a little bit justified in this, I guess. <laughs> whatever, whatever helps me sleep at night, right? Um, so, what I ordered was, uh, I got these Sunstruck uh, DPNs. And these are for my um, colorwork sweater that I'm knitting. I wanted to have the matching, well I didn't have this size in DPNs, um, and then I wanted to have the same needle that I'm using to knit the body. So I got those, and then I got, let's see, two of each of all of these, except for one of them, it's only one, I think it might be this dark gray, of these guys. And this is Knit Picks palette, and these are little 50 gram balls, and this is a 100% uh, Peruvian Highland wool, I believe it's, yeah, Peruvian Highland wool and um, non-superwash. And these are going to be for the um, the Mitten Advent Calendar by Kathy Lewinsky. And these are the exact yarns that she recommended to use and the colors. And yeah, I just think those are the sweetest little mittens, and I just think it'd be super fun to have a little advent calendar with little tiny mittens. So, that's what those are going to be. Whether I will get them all done, all 24 of them, before um, Christmas, your guess is as good as mine, but we'll see. <laughs> At least I can get them going. Um, so, I also ordered Ethan some Wool of the Andes Worsted, um, just undyed, because he was saying that he wanted to knit himself... Um, a pair of hat or a pair of socks or a hat so I got him a couple of skeins of this and he um just wanted to try something in worsted a little bit heavier and he wanted to dye it up so I thought that was awesome so I'm excited to see that and then um I also ordered because I had to get you know the $50 mark so I can get free shipping and I have been wanting this book in the, the mittens from around Norway book and they had this they had a book sale and so this came home with me but I just think, I love these mittens. I definitely want to knit those for sure. But they've just got so many neat mittens in here. Um, and the only thing that is a little bit difficult, I would say if you're an absolute beginner, is that um, it's a lot of just like the chart and then the instructions are right here. And that's it. So you kind of have to have a little bit of a background um, I would say as far as, um, you know, how mittens are constructed and things like that and um, color work. So just as a heads up, if you're wanting to get that book, um, it just might be helpful to either have somebody around you that knows, um, you know, how to, how to read the charts and everything or, um, knows the construction of a, of a mitten, but definitely, definitely doable. So that is what came in the mail from Knit Picks, which was really, really fun. It was like early Christmas, literally, because I'm making a Christmas uh, advent garland. And yes, that was from Knit Picks. And then um, I'm going to get more of this into life stuff, but we went to Ann Arbor over the weekend to spun the yarn shop there and got to meet Andrea Mowry. She was having a, like, a little meet and greet. She had taught a class and then did a meet and greet. And so... While we were there, I decided to do some shopping. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. But, um, first of all, this is the bag. And I first bought, um, Andrea's pattern for Winter Honey because, A, I really, really like this, um, this pattern. But I wanted to have something that she could sign. So I grabbed this while I was there and then she signed it. So it says, Tiffany, happy knitting, XOXO, Andrea Mowry. So that was super cute. And she is just the sweetest. But like I said, I'll get more into that, into, um, into life stuff. But yeah, so it's super fun having this 
hard copy of a pattern because I don't have any like this. And this is really quality, nice, sturdy pattern. So I really like having that. And then, um, I'm not, the yarn that I bought, I'm not going to use for that pattern, but there is kind of a funny story behind it because I was just having like the biggest dilemma trying to decide what yarn to get. So first one that jumped out at me was, was this Harrisville Designs um, Highland. And I was just, I was feeling the non-superwash, I was feeling the worsted weight yarn, I don't know what it was, but I just was feeling it. And um, I loved this red, I loved it, and I just kept like seeing like a hat out of this. So I really wanted that. And then um, I saw the Shepherd's Wool, which is a Michigan-based yarn, because this is from the Stonehenge Fiber Mill, this is their yarn that they put out. And um, I just kept like wanting to knit something with their yarn. Like I didn't really care what color it was, but I really, really wanted to knit something with their yarn. And so I was like, okay, you know, I'll, I want to get some, I really want to get some of this. So I was really feeling this yellow. I thought it would make a wonderful, like a hat or mittens or something, you know, like that. And then I was talking to somebody and so I had been holding onto this and then I had been holding onto this and I just like put them in my arms and I was talking. And then after we were done talking, I looked back and I was like, oh, I love these together. <laughs> love them. So I was like, okay, so got to get both. And Ethan helped me with that. He was like, just get them both. Because <laughs> I was like only wanting to get like one skein. He's like, just do it. Just get both. You, you know you love them. And so, and yeah, I just, I thought these looked really cool together. And then we were joking that um, we were joking that these are Gryffindor colors and I am a Hufflepuff. <laughs> so that just cannot happen. But I still, I love it so much that I just don't care. So yeah, I love it. I love it, love it. And then I kept saying, but the red, I really, really like the red as like just a hat. I just thought this would be a gorgeous, beautifully cabled hat. So one skein of red for the hat and then <laughs> these two are going to be probably color work pins. So or who knows what it'll end up happening, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm definitely seeing this as color work of some sort. So super, super excited about that. Cannot wait to knit with that. And then um, when I was up checking out, I saw that they had a little tray of like buttons. And so I was like, oh, I gotta get a button, you know, just like as a souvenir, I'll put it on my bag. And um, they had just a ton of different ones with these with their little sheep on it. And <laughs> This one just totally caught my eye because I love a good pun and it says BFLs are my BFFs and I laughed so hard at that and um, I believe she's the owner of the store. She was up there when I was laughing about that and she was like, oh, you know what BFL is? I was like, yes, I love it. I'm, I'm a spinner. You know, we um, were yarn dyers and I just, I love it. I just thought that was so funny and I love puns and so she was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give you the pin for free because you knew what BFL was. So I thought that was so, so sweet. And yeah, I really, really, really loved going there. So if you are in the Ann Arbor area, go check out Spun. It's a wonderful shop, really nice yarns. They have a great, great selection. So yeah, highly, highly recommend go checking it out for sure. Um, but let's see. Yeah, so that that is it for stash enhancement and acquisitions. Um, Next, I'm going to go on to shop news. So our Etsy shop can be found at www.thewoolandhomestead.etsy.com. There's also a direct, li uh, direct link in the description box below. We will be having a shop update this Friday, May 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. And I wanted to share with you guys, we got a new base. So the new base that we got is right here. And it is a non-superwash, 100% merino, it is um, an un it says untreated, sustainable, traceable merino. So, and oh, and the micron count of this is 19.5 microns. It is so soft. So I'm so excited that we are able to offer a non-super wash yarn. This is really, really lovely stuff. I'm so excited um, for us to get some something dyed up on here. And I just, I love it so much. So it's going to be fantastic for shawls fantastic for sweaters and it's just lovely mittens um like color work mittens i love it i'm so 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 excited so oh and it's so soft i love it <sighs> yeah really excited about that so um 
hopefully there will be something in the update this Friday for it. I um, don't know specifically what it will be yet. Ethan um, usually does his dyeing on Wednesdays. So, and today is a Monday. So I will let you guys know what will be coming, but yay, I'm so excited. So happy to have this, um, this base into our lineup. So yes, that's exciting news at the Wallen Homestead. And then um, now I will show you guys what we've got in the shop. So we've got Lovebird, and that's on our Sturdy Sock base and our DK base, which the DK base is a Superwash um, Polworth, and then the Sturdy Sock is a Superwash um, 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon. So those are both in the shop currently. We've also got... Um, Nymphadora Tonks in the shop and that is on Sturdy Sock and Polworth DK as well. We've got Hagrid's Happy Hour on DK and Sturdy Sock as well. So lots of fine speckling with little bits of green and yellow. Love it. We've got Happy Little Narwhal on Sturdy Sock and DK in the shop well it's a nice bright fun spring color and then on Polworth DK we have blueberry crumb cake so it's got lots of blues and purples and just little bits of yellow in there it's very scrumptious <laughs> and then we've got a one-of-a-kind on Polworth DK which is go pack go so this can be found in the shop if you would like to check it out so lots of really nice defined green speckles on a yellow base. Also got in the shop Cosmopolitan. Now these are all on sturdy sock going forward. And um, bright pink, yellows, oh my gosh, so yummy. So that's Cosmopolitan. We've got Caribbean Escape, which this is what's so lovely about dyeing on Superwash is everything is so bright and just really vibrant. Um, but I think, I think dying on the non superwash is going to be really beautiful too. So I love both for different reasons, but I'm just really excited to have, um, to have the non superwash be available. So we've also got cotton candy. So this is like pastel pinks and purples and blues. That. We've got Odyssey. So it's a nice variegated blue and purple. We've got Forage, which is a mostly white base with lots of um, purple and green speckles throughout. So nice to find speckles in there. We've got Professor Sprout. So a nice mint like sagey green in the background and then pops of purple and black throughout. We've got a tonal. So this is Stormy Night. Nice purple tonal. Just a nice pairing. Um, just had a customer order Barnwood. This is another colorway that we have in Stormy Night together and I just thought that was really pretty. So her and I kind of went over different options for the for her two color shawl that she's making and this was my favorite pairing. I really relate really those together. So that, um, this is Barnwood. And so it's got blues and greens and a little bit of red in there. We've got, this is a tonal as well. This is uh, vintage blue jeans. So nice and navy. Just like I said, perfect for pairing with other colorways that we've got. Um, I really think forage in the, in the vintage blue jeans go well together. It's nice. And we've got dragon egg. So it's greens with bits of orange and yellow. And then we've got tiny dancer. Love this colorway. I just love purple and pinks. Those are my favorites and this is mostly purples but there's just little shots of pink in there throughout from where the dye had broken and I just love it. Um, and this is Solstice Twilight. This is also one of my very very favorite colorways. So it's just got like a cream base with purples and pinks throughout. I love it. So we've also got one more tonal. We've got uh, Marvelous 
which is on our sturdy sack base. I am knitting a sweater um, out of this colorway, but in DK. So I need to get back to that sweater. <laughs> but once my speckle and pop is off the, the needles, it's going to be sweater city over here. Um, so we've also got a couple of songbird mitten kits in the shop. So we've got currently um, Marvelous. There's a songbird mitten kit there. We've got two of Fern in the shop. And we've got Magnolia. This is my favorite one. Totally my favorite. Love this one. Um, so yes, those those um, mitten kits are currently in the shop. It's enough to make the Songbird Mittens by Erica Heuser. You also will receive a 20% off coupon code um, when you purchase the mitten kit for that pattern. So yeah, that is it for what is in the shop, guys. Um, like I said, you can find a direct link below in the description box if you want to go check out the shop. We do have free shipping on all U.S. orders. And yeah, we'd love to see you guys at the shop update this Friday. Last but not least, we're going to go into life stuff. So like I kind of mentioned a little bit before, um, I got my crown done last week. Very, very happy to have that done. <laughs> it's expensive and... I'm just glad it's done and it's always a little sensitive afterwards so I'm glad it's over with it's done it's taken care of it's safe now everything's done correctly and yeah what I really liked is they made the crown there so I didn't have to have a temporary put on and wait a week and then go back and get it done so um it was just like a two-hour process so I just brought my knitting and worked on my socks while I waited <laughs> so yeah super cool um Tomorrow, we, we, me, being me and Ella, um, my, my dog, she's my lab hound mix, and then we have Benny, who's our lab, but Miss Ella and I, um, are going to the dog park, and we are meeting up with my coworker, who, um, she just adopted a standard poodle, who's about eight years old, and, um, and then she has another little terrier mix, and, um, we are going to go meet up with her, and just have fun playing, and watching the pups, and, yeah, just get her her new baby kind of acclimated to with other dogs. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm really excited to go to go to that tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, and then like I mentioned before, last this last weekend, so on Saturday, um, we went down to Ann Arbor and to the Spun Yarn Shop, and we got to meet Andrew Mowry. So that was so exciting. She is just the sweetest person ever. I also got to see Jen. Hi, Jen. It was so good to see her. And um, yeah, it was just, it was really, really fun to go see everybody and just hang out. Um, it was just a blast. Everyone was so sweet. And like I said, Andrea is just the nicest person ever. We just had fun um, kind of hanging out and just chatting with her. Um, later on when I was shopping, it had kind of died down. And um, so Jen was over there talking with her. And so I, Jen had come a little bit later than we had. So I went over there and was talking with them too. And it was just so fun to hang out talk about knitting and what you know talk about different needles that people like and yeah just nerd out about our craft it was <laughs> it was really really fun so yeah so thankful that um that I got to go and thankful to Jen Jen was the one who told me that she was going to be there so I'm so glad um that she had told me and that um we got to see uh Andrea and Jen there so Yes, it was a really, really fun weekend. Um, we decided to stay the night while we were down there. You know, we were um, planning on staying down there when the Fiber Festival was down there. And because of the, the ice and everything, we didn't get to go down there. So we thought this would be a nice time to, to stay overnight. I had to work on Sunday, but not till noon on Mother's Day. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it, was, it wasn't too bad at all. But it was pretty slow at work. <laughs> But, um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm a, I'm a dog groomer at PetSmart and, uh, yeah, it's a really fun job. So yeah, that is pretty much what's been going on. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I am not feeling a hundred percent today. I don't know if I'm going to get this edited today. I might wait till tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe I'll have a little bit more energy later on. So I got my candle going. It's the creamy vanilla coconut from Yankee Candle. And I got it for me for Christmas. I love it. So thank you, Mommy. I know you're watching. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm going to quit babbling because I'm totally just, like, tangenting and just babbling on and on. So <laughs> 
I hope you guys have a good week and I hope you guys are feeling well also and I'm guessing it's just the weather for me you know it's a little dreary today probably just something who knows but yeah I hope you guys have a good week and yeah if you would like this video feel free to give it a like and give me a subscribe I would love that and um, yeah I hope you guys have a good week and I will talk to you next time bye bye